time to go get those special glasses. We're now less than two months until a total solar eclipse takes place high above North Texas. Expect a spectacular sight as the moon comes between the Earth and the sun, plunging uh, the middle of our day into total darkness for up to four minutes. The DFW area will have some of the best views around, and people are expected to flood into this area. UNT says there won't be another eclipse like this over North Texas for another 294 years. We will be long gone. <laughs> uh, some schools are canceling class for the big day, and plenty of local places are hosting uh, sky watching parties. That includes the Perot Museum, the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History, the Dallas Arboretum, Samuel Farms, Addison Circle Park, Waxahachie's Rail Yard Park Amphitheater, Downtown Ennis, and Grapevine's Main Street. District. Yeah, and universities are trying to get ready for the solar eclipse too. The University of Arlington is going to be setting up a panel later today in their planetarium on campus. At five o'clock, they're going to have four different panelists answering all your questions, which could range from how to keep your eyes safe to potential disruptions of telecommunication services. By the way, DFW is part of the area of totality where the moon blocks out the entire sun. And Dominus, this is like truly a phenomenon. Yeah, uh, I was able to experience it back in 2017. In South Carolina. Columbia, South Carolina was in the path of totality. And when I tell you that the world came to South Carolina to see it, wow. it's going to be very similar to here in North Texas, where there will be several areas in that path. And I mean, traffic will be bottlenecked in a few spots too. And I think many small towns will really feel the brunt of the, how many people are there and excitement that will be with a lot of folks. Exactly for the person who doesn't really understand it, even yeah. based off that long description we gave. <laughs> explain what it looks like. Yeah, uh, when you actually get toward totality, I mean, you have to wear your glasses, right? Then once it actually happens, when the moon covers the sun, it will be more like twilight. So oh. almost complete darkness, and you can take the glasses off. It might get a bit cooler outside. And what's interesting, though, is that you're, you're like, wait a minute, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. And it seems like it's seven o'clock at night. And then as the uh, sun starts to uh, come back in full view, then it's like, well, we're back to regular yeah. day, you know, but, regular scheduled programming. But obviously, everyone's hoping that day we don't have clouds in the sky because that could yeah. mess things up. Clouds or rain, that could really mess up the viewing of it as right. well. So it's going to be a sight to see and something that I think a lot of folks will remember for a lifetime. For sure. Yeah, Certainly once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. Take advantage. Yeah.